Hello, maestros. My name's Mahan. We're here to maximize our workflows. This episode, I'll be talking about clipboards. I'll compare them to variables, talk about template folders, and we'll make the clipboard paste switcher macro. All right, let's get started. So what is a clipboard? Well, let's first talk about variables. Variables simply is a little box, like I said before, with the uh, ability to store your text strings and numbers. In clipboards, pretty much the same thing. You can store strings and numbers in them as well, but what makes them special is they have the ability to store finder objects like folders, pictures, and project files. And what makes variables special is they have the ability to do math. And we'll talk about that in a different video because for this one, we'll be talking about our template folders. All right, so let me show you the power of template folders. So here's my template folder and I have three separate folders for different types of projects that I'm working on. Say, for example, on one day, I'll be working on project A and B and they require different templates. So I just paste them right in and maybe on another day, I'm doing A and C. So you can see that it's really nice to have your, all your templates, all your pasting at your fingertips. All right, so this is how you make it. First thing you need to do is you need to create your individual clipboards. And you can do that by going to Keyboard Maestro, Preferences, and then click on Clipboards, and then you can add them here. And once you add them, you can start copying your objects like your template folders to your clipboards. So you can do that by making a new macro, command N, make a new macro. You're gonna go copy to clipboard. And we'll just be using F10 for now. And go ahead and search for all actions. And then you search for clipboard. And then you want to go to copy to named clipboard. You can drag that little guy in. All right, so once you have that, then you can select your second option here and then navigating to your clipboard that you just made. Now all I have to do is select the folder that I want to store in my clipboard and then hit F10 and then repeat the process for my other folders. F10, change it to my clipboard and then hit F10 again. All right, next is you have to make your macros that paste. So this is where we copied, now we're gonna paste. So we're gonna make individual macros and do this same action and just select, change the first setting to paste from named clipboard and then select your clipboard and then repeat the process for second one and third one, you can see that the temp has changed. Very nice. All right, so that is how to create your template folders. Now let's create the clipboard paste switcher. Command N, and then you have activate your named clipboards. All right, we have, um, I've set mine to new, new hotkey trigger. I've set mine to option command backspace. And then go to no action again, and then you wanna select the activate clipboard paste switcher. All right, now this is pretty much what it does. You have your option backspace, it's your system clipboard. You have it here, and then you can add a command to that to open up your individual clipboards, and you can see that they pop up here, and you can see the path to the folders right there. It's a pretty nice way to quickly see what's inside your clipboards. So yeah, that's pretty much clipboards and keyboard maestro. Hopefully you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.